Good evening. Welcome to the Pond Zone. I'm your host, John, and on tonight's episode, we're going to look at how to clean and maintain your Ann John Flood Series Submersible Pond Pump. Now, the Pond Pump comes with a two-year warranty, but in order to ensure that you get the longest life out of it, it does require periodic maintenance. Think of your Pond Pump just like your car engine. You need to put gas in, change the oil, get a tune-up, in order for it to run properly. Well, your pond pump's the same way. If placed in the pond and not provided maintenance, over time, it can have accumulations of calcium, lime, rust, sand or debris, and other things that could possibly bind up and restrict the impeller or shorten the life of the pump. We're gonna show you how to solve that. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the debris screen from the pump. It's held in place using four screws, so using a screwdriver or a drill, carefully remove the four screws and set aside, being careful not to strip out the threads. With the screws removed, pull the cap off and set aside. You can see the inner ring of screws. These cover the impeller. If the impeller spins freely, it may not be necessary to remove them. If the impeller is clogged, go ahead and remove the four screws covering the cap Set the screws aside and pull the cap off. The impeller itself will not be able to be removed, but you can clean out that chamber. If there's nothing obstructing the pump impeller, proceed instead to remove the four outer screws of the pump, which hold on the housing. Using your screwdriver or drill, remove the four screws and set aside. Now you can firmly pull on the housing and separate it from the pump motor. Four additional screws hold on the cap that covers the impeller and the rest of the pump. Using your screwdriver or drill, remove these four screws and set aside. All the screws are different sizes, so be sure and keep them separate from the other sets. Now firmly pull off the cap and expose the impeller. Now you may remove the impeller from the pump and inspect for damages. Remove the o-ring from the pump and set aside. Now you may inspect the interior for damages. To clean your pump we recommend a product called CLR which removes calcium, lime, and rust deposits. Mix with water according to label directions and then place the pump and the impeller down inside the water and CLR mixture. To reassemble your pump, first take the O-ring and we're going to place a couple of drops of silicone lubricant on it to protect it. Place the lubricant on the O-ring and work it all into the rubber O-ring. Place it back onto the pump and you're ready to put in the impeller. Insert the impeller into the shaft and turn until it clicks into place with the notches. Next, take the pump cover and place it back onto the motor of the pump, turning it as needed until all four screw holes line up. Place the screws back in and reattach using a screwdriver or drill, being careful not to strip out the threads. The rubber stopper on the cord should be pulled up, so as you replace the housing of the pump, the stopper easily passes through the hole of the housing. Reattach the pump housing using the four screws and a screwdriver or drill, being careful not to strip out the pump threads. The debris screen is the last part to go back on, and it fits only one way. Place the four screws in and reattach, being careful not to strip out the threads. This annual cleaning service will greatly lengthen the life of your pump and ensure that it operates to its fullest capacity in your pond system. Thanks for watching The Pond Zone. We'll see you next time.